hello guys welcome back to another Randout studio tutorial in this episode here i'm going to create a simple android application that demonstrate how to use shared preferences for saving application settings so we can create a new android studio project open android studio and create a new android studio project specify your application name Uh, here I name it as shared preferences example. Uh, select an empty activity. Uh, click finish. Okay, now here the project is created in Android Studio and it is still building. Okay, now the build process finished. So this is the layout for main activity. Here is the class for main activity. Okay, uh, so the first thing we have to create some user interface. So here I'm going to place a login form in activity main.xml. So I hope you, you already know about how to create a simple uh, login form using Android Studio Layout Editor and the Coordinator Layout. So for saving time here I already create the layout. So I copy that content and put it here. So this is our layout. So this layout contain and two edit text. So this is the edit text for enter username and this is the edit text for enter password and here is our button so here the button have an on-click method called the login user so now we need to specify this method inside main activity so just click that method and hit alt enter on your keyboard and here you can simply create that method inside main activity so here android studio automatically create that method for us okay So this is this is a simple uh, user login form. So now I close this activity, close all these contents. Now here I'm going to create another activity. So create a new activity. Select empty activity. Specify the new activity name. I name it as success activity and click finish and uh, now we need to add something to the success activity so this is the root here is also the root element is a constrained layout so now we have to design the layout so now open blueprint okay first here I'm going to put some text on it so select the text uh, drag a text to view now create the attributes for the text to view uh, now select the text to view and change the margin at the top into 55 dp okay now select the text to view and change the text on it welcome user okay and change the align the text at the center change that one into bold now i'm going to change the text size into 20 dp 20 sp okay so now here i'm going to add one more component i need a button in this activity drag a button create the attributes for the button So it is not attribute, it is coordinates. Sorry, constraints, not coordinates, it's constraints. So now select the button, change the margin at the top into 32 dp. Now select the button and change the text on it into uh, logout. So by using this button, user can log out. Okay, now here I'm going to create an on-click method for the button. 
user logout okay so this is our layout now we can move it to the design so this is the layout now go to the XML so here also we need to specify we have to de define this method inside success activity so select that method using this keyword using this shortcut alt enter you can directly create that method inside that activity so here we create that method inside the success activity okay so now we need some string resources so open resource folder open values folder open strings.xml so here i'm going to create some string values uh, specify some username here so here the username is thomas now specify the password for the user uh, user password into thomas at one two three okay so now we need to add some other string resources i name it as login for preference so this is the file name of our shared preference i name it as login preference so for make the file name unique it is better to use the package name of your app so here is the package name i copy the package name uh, i use that package name and specify the file name uh, login preference so this is a good programming practice because this make your file name unique one so now i create another string resource uh, login status login status preference now again i use the package name and here use the data login status preference okay now we can close these things now here i am going to create another java class I name it as uh, shared preference config. Now click OK. So here, first create some variables. First create some variables for shared preference. Uh, now create some variables for context. Uh, now create a constructor for this class and this constructor need one parameter is a context object now initialize the context object from here so here the class name is shared preference config okay so now i'm going to initialize the shared preference object from here so by using the context object call the method get shared preferences so the first parameter is the key is the file name so here the file name we saved inside strings.xml so context dot get the resources and use this method get string specify the file name here it is login preferences now specify the opening mode here uh, we are going to open this one in mode private okay so in the constructor we initialize the two variables context and the shared preferences now here i'm going to create another methods for read and write login status so create a method public void write login status so 
so this method contain one parameter it's a boolean value so for write into shared preferences you have to create an editor object so create some editor object so you can use the shared preference object for initialize that object call the edit method so now we need to uh, put the key values into the editor object so editor dot here the data is a boolean so we can use this one put boolean so the first parameter is the key for the data here also we have to get the key from the strings.xml uh, get string r dot string here it is login preference not login status preference now specify the data here the data is stat status to save the changes you have to call the commit method on the editor object so this method write the login status to the shared preference now we need to create another method for read the login status so here the return type is a boolean uh, here i name it as read login status so here create some variables boolean i name it as status into false now we can get the status from the shared preference so you can use this the object of shared preference so here the data is a boolean so call this method get boolean so the first parameter is the key for the data get string r dot string dot uh, login status preference and final parameter is the default value if the key is not found it will return the default value so here the default value we can return false okay and finally we can return false from this method sorry status from this method return status so this this class handle the shared preferences operations now we can perform the user login so close this file open main activity so inside main activity first create some variables share preferences config i name it as preferences config now create some variables for edit text username and user password okay now we can initialize these variables from the on create method so first we can initialize the shared preference config object so here i pass the context as get application context okay now we can initialize the edit text username find the view by id uh, here it is username uh, user password also the same thing find the view by id uh, user password okay so if the user click the login user if the user click the login button uh, we have to get the data from the edit text username uh, username dot uh, get the text dot to string now get the password user password user password dot get the data from it get the text dot to string Okay, now we can check whether the login success or not so if uh, username dot equals get the resources dot 
get string r dot string dot username and uh, user password dot equals get to resources dot get string r dot string dot uh, user password in that case you login success so if the login success we can start the success activity so start activity new intent success activity dot class otherwise that means login failed in that case simply display a message to the user Uh, login failed try again uh, be short and display the cost okay also if the login failed we can reset the username and password uh, set a text uh, user password dot set a text Okay, so if the login success, we have to save the login status in share preference. So call the share preference object preference config dot write login status. So here the status is true. Okay. So if the user open this application, first thing we have to check whether user already login or not. So here we have to check that condition if sorry it is not from this method we need to perform that from the on create method so inside on create method here uh, we are going to perform a check whether the user already login or not so if uh, preference config dot read login status so if it is return true that means user already login in that case we can simply start the success activity so i copy this statement and place it here so if the user login already it will start the new activity so now go back to the welcome activity now open success activity sorry it is success activity so here also we have to create some variables share preference config I name it as preference config okay now initialize that variable so preference config equal to new share preference config uh, get application context so we forget something in main activity so if the user already log in after starting the second activity we have to finish this activity here also if the login success we have to finish this activity so finish that one okay now go back to success activity so if the user log out we have to update the login status in shared preference so preference config dot write login status into false so now start activity we have to start the login activity again new intent so we have to start the main activity again and finish this activity okay so now we finish the application development uh, now we can start this now we can test it so here we already have a virtual device so run it
okay now here the application available on this virtual device so first here i enter some wrong information and try to log in so now here login failed now enter the correct username here the username is thomas and password thomas123 thomas at 123 that is the correct password and login so now the user is successfully login so now i remove the application from foreground now the application is not running in this device now i open that application again so here instead of display the login page again it will display the success page so now the user log out so in that case the app again display the login page so now try to login again thomas at one two three and try to login now remove the application from foreground now open that app again so instead of display the login page it open the success page so this is how we use the shared preference for saving relatively small amount of data i hope you understand the concepts about how to save data using shared preferences for getting more video updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode